Uppercut, uppercut. Sonic boom! G'day, you dirty big grubs. Imagine my surprise when I opened up the email the other day and my good mate Kesha, who featured a T100 LT monster game, uh, was there in the inbox saying, hey, Pushka, got a red hot special delivery for you. Please accept. And I was eager to be involved. So I waited until another 60TP game came in and then I recorded both the replays. And I was very excited for the Kakesha replay because as you can see here, it is a hell of a position he is in. He is facing a whole bunch of tanks. He's on the bottom of Hellas. Uh, there's three red tanks doing their best to smash him. And I was like, how's he going to get out of this? And the fact is he's not because he sent me the wrong replay, you muppet. And it wasn't until a few days later that he went, oh, oh sorry, excuse me. Here's the right one. This is the 60TP, the big Polish Palucky. Uh, it is an absolute monster when it's singing. It has a couple of problems. Namely, well, it's got one huge issue. It has a rack that indeed loves to be ammoed. All the ammo racking you can ever need. If you wanted to say the IS-7 gets ammo racked more, I mean, historically, it's probably been ammo racked in competitive more than any other tank. But if you just want to go into a public game and get your rack ammoed, then the 60TP will do the job. And you're going to see a little bit more of that in game number two. This is your classical heavy bout up here on the mean streets of Castilla. The 60TP doing what he can. Now, that is obviously a very aggressive position that we've seen there from our Amiga on the green team who has just driven forward in his chieftain as hard and as heavy as he can. But it's all right not to be outdone. There is a Concept 1B behind Kakesha, who is the mirror image of our mate, the Chieftain, who has gone balls to the wall around the corner and is now facing down the Jaegeru. Uh Unfortunately, the Jaegeru has also been turned towards the Concept, which has exposed his buttocks to the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, otherwise known as those camping dickheads on the red team. There they are, down the bottom of the map. The Yeageru won't be long for it either. This is a game that is equal parts frustrating and delightful. It's not the biggest damage game you're ever going to see. Hell, it's good, but it's, it's not that high. What it is, though, is a game that I think illustrates just how effective the 60 TP can be and how you can do some, oh, this is great, this shot. Don't need a reticle. That's someone else's problems. Uh, and how playing your role can be such a big thing. This is the place you want to be. If you look at the teams, there are no medium tanks on the red team. Uh, and... They have all played very true to form. The TDs, of which there are many, have been loitering around the back of the map, which is fair enough. That's exactly where you want to be loitering if you are a TD. And it's made it impossible for Kakesha to really fit in anywhere else but in this little area here. And it's where he's doing some very good work. Already up to nearly 3,000 damage with 3,000 blocked as well and he's just doing his best to get an angle out there now that's a dangerous angle in a tank like the 60 tp because your ammo rack is right there ready for love the yeah look i'm going to be honest the red team has not really done a lot to convince me that they deserve this win there have been some sterling performances not the least of which has been the opposition 60 tp who has held his form there um, as the Sheridan sidewinder goes down, and honest, come on. That Sheridan could have been spotting these boys up and having a whale of a time. Driving up there was not the play. Two minutes 53 is left on the clock, and they are whittling things away here. The KPZ-70 is moving across the map, which is a big mistake. He's pressed the W key, and he will pay. Oh, ho, 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 beautiful donk. Just as the Waffle Tractor crosses... And Kakesha is starting to feel it now. He's got just about half his hit points left. And he is looking for work. The Yeageru 
being unable to really get much into the battle from this top section might have been better off rather than coming up here, maybe flanking around a little, but he has proven to be a cautionary tail for the 60 TP on the other side and stopped him from just yoloing across man pants style and doing some trades. This Kakesha edging out, looking for love. Where is love? I thought love was there. Love is back. Love is back. He's been proximity spotted by a good mate, the Yeguru. Actually, I think he was spotted by the uh, the 70 down there on the bottom left, who has now gone the way of the Dodo. The Waffle Meat Tractor has caught him crossing, and it is a 2v4. It's going to be a 2v3 uh, very soon if Kakesha keeps hitting shots like that and getting bounces in return of serve. He is up to nearly 4k bounce to go along with just over 5k damage. Reversing nicely down the hill here. Look at that angle. Great angle. Very nice angle. Does he have the gun depression? Not quite. The Jaegeru chimes in nicely and finishes off the 60 TP. And then go... I don't know why I thought the Jaegeru died at the start. Clearly, not dead. Doing very well for a dead tank. Look at that. The gun gets damaged. Unfortunate, but he still gets another block. 4,320 damage blocked. This Hori is gagging for it. Absolutely gagging for it. Uh, and the Yagaru says, please, allow me, sir. I would like to come through and eat some pies. And Kakesha is like, dude, I cannot the move. You are fat as fuck. Off he goes. Pie eating time now. I just put one blind one there. Just on general principle, that waffle tractor. He's a grub. There he is. I knew he was there all along. Should have trusted me and just let fly, McFly. Swing for the fences, baby. Three to go. 35 seconds left. And the waffle tractor is playing catch-up football. And this is unfortunate. This is clearly going to be a draw now. There is not enough time left. But I thought, even though it was a draw, that it was such a well-played game from our Amigo in the 60 TP. That is how you should play the top shelf right here on this side of the map on Castilla. The hull down, big donk heavy, not giving away his hit points, using the rock successfully, all he needed was another 30 seconds, and it was the end of the road for the Waffle McTractor. Well done, Kakesha. Very good start to the innings, and now we're going to go and take that 6,000 damage, 6,000 blocked game, which is a second class. I don't know how it's a second class, and move on to Impeccable Tanker in what is a much shorter game and a very, very raucous affair. And remember we talked about the 60 TP ammo rack situation. Well, it uh, it's going to come into play. <laughs> the 60 TP ammo rack situation is going to pop right along any time now. Uh, as we cross the hill. Yep, thanks very much. That'll be a great way to start the day. Affirmatives all round for the team. Uh, the poor old bloke in the 60 TP, it does happen a lot. I'm not kidding. That thing. So we are under a minute into the game and Impeccable Tanker has done 3,200 damage. Please tell me I'm dreaming. That is the start you want in a 60 TP and they're everywhere. Popular. Popular, baby. Nailing that VK7201K on a reload. He says, K, he's not happy. And he's uh, starting to track backwards here. Our protagonist, our hero, the star of his own movie, is seeing a little bit of movement down here at the A cap, and he's rumbling and rolling. Oh, no, it's another 60 TP. I mean, another ammo rack would be good, but we'll go for a max roll at 788 with the AP. Looks good to me, and that 60 TP doesn't have enough ammo left to rack. It is done and dusted for him. Screaming down the inside lane now. Only 90 seconds into this one. And we are at 5,300 damage. This is a ludicrous affair. This is the kind of thing where every single shot you put up goes in. And he's getting them out there on the freaking reload. As the tank reloads, boom, send it. Boom, send it. He's finally taken a little bit of a breather. I mean, the, the thumb's probably getting sore on the 60 TP. Everything he touches turns to gold. There's only three tanks left. And the VK is just like, wow, I don't blame him. RNGs, take the wheel. Yeah, the grill strikes one back for the Empire. 
the super big Death Star. He's flanked. I don't know why he's on the flank, but he is. Good on him. And our good mate, Impeccable Tanker, is looking for more work. Decides against loading up the high-risk proposition of the HE. Moves on to 6,000 damage. Finally, takes a Hesh round. Leaves him a little bit worse for wear, but honestly, you take 407 out of a Death Star every day of the week. Yep, have another one. Another dose of the good stuff, 6,600. And you know that there's someone up the end of the map here who needs a damn good paddling. And there's one bloke desperate to do it. There's the Minotauro. Here comes the big rig. <laughs> Beautiful game from Impeccable Tanker. The last man on the field is this bloke in the red spawn. And this is honestly an absolute delight to see this much donk going out. He's not, not going to take a backward step. He's like, come at me, bro. Come freaking at me. Take it. Oh, yeah. One more shell? Or is that it? Oh, is that all you got? Is that all you got? As we move on to 7,800 damage, the IS-7. Surely he's going to let him finish him. What a gentleman. What an absolute gentleman. What a gentleman. 8,218. That is a shoulders up, big style carry from impeccable player. 8,216 damage mastery. Four destroyed, five damage, one enormous ammo rack to start the day. Those are the kinds of games you dream of. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and have a good time out there in the world of tanking. Send all your replays to bushkagaming at gmail.com, and I'll see you next time on the same bat channel. Au revoir, amigos.